Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. First of all, please excuse the weird lighting. I'm filming at a really awkward time of day where the light comes into my room at a weird angle. So please excuse that, but I've got my ring light, so hopefully things will be okay. So for today's video, I wanted to do something that a lot of people have done. It's not like a new trend that I've created, but I thought it'd be fun to do. And it is the full face of makeup using, wait for it, even though you already know because you've seen the title and thumbnail. A full face using my mom's makeup. I really wanted to give this a go. I'm actually quite excited because my mom has some really nice makeup, so this should be quite fun. Um, I've never really used any of her makeup, I don't think, so we have some similar stuff, but she has a lot of things in here that I don't have or have not used before, so yeah, I'm excited to try it out and let's see how this goes. I haven't properly looked through all of this. I know some of the things she has already and I've seen a couple of things when I picked up her makeup bags but I haven't properly looked through, so I don't know about everything that's in here, so there might be some makeup bits that I don't know about, I don't know. It looks like there's some quite exciting things in here, but this is one thing I didn't actually think she had, but she does, and it's a primer, and it is the Anew, would you say? A-N-E-W, Skin Transforming Primer. I'm pretty sure this is from Avon, a lot of mum's makeup is from Avon, She, it's like her go-to brand for makeup, and I don't blame her because it's really good. Um, I would use her makeup brushes, but I don't know what she has. I might have to use some of my brushes during this process. I don't know yet, but yeah, I'm just gonna take a little bit. I forgot to get my mirror, that might help. She's got one in one of her palettes, so I'll use this. Oh, this feels really nice. I kind of want this now. I kind of want some for myself. I mean, I haven't seen what it's like with makeup, so I don't know, but it's making my skin feel really soft. And I have quite dry skin at the moment, and I do a lot of the time. So this feels really nice. Okay, so that is primer on, and honestly, my skin feels great right now. So, so far, I'm really liking this, but again, I don't know how it's gonna work with the rest of the makeup. It might not last, I don't know. We'll see. Um, now onto foundation. I don't know what she uses to apply foundation. She uses one of these sponges, clearly, so I'm gonna use this too. And she uses the Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation, which I used to use like quite a while back, and I used to use this a lot for dance competitions. Um, I'm worried it's gonna be too dark. Oh dear, I think this might be too dark. We'll have a look. But yeah, oh, this is like the new formula, I think. It's like the anti-fatigue one. I think I need that. I hate using these brushes to apply foundation, sponges rather, um, so this could go horrifically wrong, but this is the whole part of the challenge. Got to use what my mum would use. This is very dark. My mum always makes her makeup look really nice and I feel like I'm just not gonna do it justice. <laughs> Sorry, mum. Okay, this looks interesting. This is quite obviously not my shade, but I do like this foundation. I liked it when I used to use it as well. Um, it's not like super full coverage, but it looks really nice. Just not right now because it is way too dark for me. Now onto concealer. I'm pretty sure my mom uses concealer. I can't find concealer. I was pretty sure that my mom had concealer, but I don't know, maybe she's put it somewhere else and I can't find it. I don't know. So looks like we're gonna have to skip that step. I might have to put a bit more foundation on to cover where I would normally put concealer. Okay, now onto powder. She has this Color, Avon Colour Trend Pressed Powder in the shade Translucent. I really hope that is translucent because it looks quite dark. <laughs> and she uses this sponge that comes with it. So, this powder does feel really soft, like really smooth rather. But yeah, let's set the face. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That is not translucent. What the hell? I mean, it's making my face look really smooth. Not gonna lie, but I would not call, oh, it feels lovely, but again, wouldn't call that translucent. Okay, the face is set. I look like an umpa right now. Now onto brows. Okay, so for brows, we have, like I said, she's a fan of Avon. It's the Avon Perfect Eyebrow Kit in the shade Blonde. Um, I used to have this and didn't get on with it. It just didn't really work for me. You get like the colour and then a wax, but she used pretty much all the wax and I hated using the wax, so I'm gonna give that one a miss. I mean, my eyebrows have no proper shape to them because I've not had them done forever, so like I had them done like probably about three years ago. 
probably get them done at some point, but mm, I like the natural look, you know. This colour just is so off for me. Like, I know I'm blonde, but it's kind of like the wrong shade of blonde. It's not even blonde, really. It's more like... I don't know, but this is really hard to shake my brows with. That's why I like using pomade. Just sent a mum a picture of this foundation shade on me. I feel like she's going to find it pretty hilarious. To be fair, this brow stuff is quite nice. I just don't think it works for my colour brows. I need something a bit more like cool toned. I think that's the problem. So, oh God. Now onto eyeshadow. Quite excited about this because, um, did I buy this from my mum? I feel like I did. Yeah, I did. Um, it's the Makeup Revolution Redemption Palette Iconic 2. And this is the one that's basically a dupe for the Naked 2 palette, which I have. So, hopefully this will go down well because it is colours that I use quite often. Um, so, I'm going to go... F also, I bought her a Real Techniques eyeshadow brush. So, I'm just going to use that. Because I think that's the only eyeshadow brush she has. I don't know. Oh, did she just... No, that's not an eyeshadow brush. Yeah, so I'm going to use this. Um, have a little play around. Probably just go for a couple of the neutral shades and a bit of a shimmer. I won't go into too much detail. I use this, these colours all the time because you've seen me use the Naked 2 palette. So you get the gist. I've never actually used this palette though. My sister really loves it. Because she has it too. It is really nice actually. Like really pretty right i'm gonna have to use my own brush to blend this out because i can't leave it like this so these eyeshadows are really nice i mean i haven't done a great job of applying them to be honest i've not done them justice but the eyeshadows are really nice um like honestly it is just genuinely the way i've applied them so please ignore that i don't think she has any liquid eyeliner but she has some pencil eyeliners which i don't really use ever so Oh, this is blue, right. We're gonna use blue. I'm gonna use it on the upper lash line. I don't really know what I'm doing because I never use these anymore. Like, I just don't like using them because I don't like going too close to my eye. Like, I don't put it on the inner waterline. Oh my God. I know this is totally the wrong way to do this, but. Okay, so I had an idea for this eyeliner. I was just gonna do it on the top lash line like where I would put liquid liner and then smoke it out which failed as you can see do not blame this makeup look on my mom's makeup blame it on my bad makeup skills that's all I'm gonna say now onto mascara which I'm kind of really excited about because she has these Charlotte Tilbury full fat lashes five star mascara which she brought fairly recently so I'm very excited to try this out because I've never tried Charlotte Tilbury mascara and Charlotte Tilbury is quite expensive um I know people say you're not really meant to share mascara because of, you know, hygiene and stuff, but... Oops! I've just found this. Where did, where did this come from and what is the purpose of this? It's like rock solid. Is it like for nails? I don't know. I don't know where that's just come from, but okay. Oh wow, that is so pretty. That is one coat. I don't know if you can see it, but it's so nice. Yes, mom. I am a fan of this. That is so pretty, oh my God. Okay, so that is my favorite part about this whole look so far. That mascara is amazing. I mean, I never expected anything less from Charlotte Tilbury to be fair, but wow, wow. I look tragic. I mean, the eye look looks better now that I've got mascara on, but still, you know that I'm not good at applying eyeshadow. Um, I kind of rushed it as well, um, but it doesn't look, it looks pretty bad and my foundation looks awful this close up, so I'm going to move back. You see it's gotten loads darker since I started this video. It's not just because I've been filming for ages, it's because it gets dark pretty quickly around this time of the day. Also, look at my face compared to my neck, my hands. Oh my god, that looks awful. Now onto bronzer slash contour. I don't know what my mom has, but what is this? That's eyeshadow. Oh, I think this is the concealer. Damn it. Oh wow, that's darker than the foundation. Go on then, let's put a bit of concealer under my eyes. Might as well. Got very nice coverage, actually. Oh, that's pretty good. 
Again, Avon, by the way, I didn't say. It doesn't say that it's concealer on it, but I'm pretty sure it is. I don't know what else it would be. Um, okay, so that concealer's actually really nice. <laughs> I'm just gonna quickly set that. Okay, blusher. We have a couple of options. We have this Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush Palette, which also has the highlighting that I'm gonna use. Um, we have that, or we have the Blushing Hearts Tripled Baked Blusher, which looks like this, which is like blusher and highlighter in one. This looks more cray cray, so let's go for this. I'm gonna use a little bit because I don't know how pigmented this is. I've never used it. that's really pretty I've literally got a light, really light amount on but that is really pretty I like the glitter in it I don't usually use blushes that are this like glittery or have this much highlight in them but this is really nice I think this is Makeup Revolution or I Heart Makeup um, and honestly I'm quite impressed Makes, just makes me look really healthy gives me a bit more colour rather than just all orange I really like it actually I don't know if I'd use it on like a daily basis but I, I quite like it so I'm going to go with highlight I'm going to use this shade here in the top corner while the lighting is going crazy right now don't know if you can see it it's like a purpley kind of colour so I'm going to use that I know how pigmented Makeup Revolution highlighters, so I need to be careful. Um, let's see. Ooh, very nice. Um, this fan brush is like very stiff, but still works, does the job. But now we're onto the last stage, which is the lipstick. Some like pinky, shimmery glosses. We have a lipstick from Rimmel that I actually brought my mom a while back. Um, as a present um, which looks really nice oh another gloss and then some Avon lipsticks one in sparkling nude pastel pink and wild cherry wild cherry looks very nice and it's a matte lipstick so that is the one I would gravitate towards but it's not going to go with this makeup look realistically so that's probably going to be a no go then we have pastel pink which looks like it's going to majorly wash me out but would go a lot better with this makeup look. Again, these are nice lipsticks, and I know it kind of just sounds like I'm trying to defend myself, but I genuinely mean this. Like, this is really nice makeup. My mom doesn't have crap makeup, and this isn't me taking the mick out of what she has, because I do really love her makeup, but just a lot of it does not work on my skin tone. Um, we have quite different skin tones. Another example of that <laughs> is this one. We're gonna have to go with the pastel pink one. Let's just go for it. This looks really nice on my mom, but maybe it'll look better because my foundation is so dark, but here goes. Whoa! Oh, wow. <laughs> that, ladies and gents, is the finished makeup look. Overall, all the products I've used have been really nice. Just a lot of them don't work for me personally. Um, I'm not just saying that to like defend my mom, like genuinely. I love all this makeup, it's really good stuff. It's just not good on me, a lot of it. Um, eyeshadow's really nice, really a fan of them. I do really like this foundation in general, just not this shade on me, obviously. Um, the powder was really soft, again, it was a little dark on me, but it was felt really nice and my face feels so smooth. Concealer, really love that. Um, brows, not the right colour for me, but it's, a good product um, love the eyeshadows like I said eyeliner quite nice I just didn't apply it very well mascara my favorite thing blush really really pretty highlight really pretty lipstick really pretty just looks a bit crazy on me just doesn't suit me at all I don't think like I really like this lipstick on my mom but on me it just just doesn't suit me but yeah that is the finished makeup look oh my god I look crazy with this foundation on please ignore my messy hair i've not done anything to it today but yeah that is the end of this video i had so much fun filming this and 
it was quite a bit of a fail as you can see but it was so fun and I really enjoyed trying out some of my mum's makeup and yeah my mum always looks so pretty when she does her makeup and I was quite excited to try it for myself although I knew some of it wasn't going to work for me but yeah I really love her makeup and I was really excited to give it a try and yeah this is the finished makeup look I hope you enjoyed this video really really enjoyed doing this for you guys and would love to do more videos like this some more challenge kind of videos or maybe I don't know how else I could do it I can't really use my dad's makeup because he doesn't wear makeup so yeah if you enjoyed this give it a massive thumbs up comment down below what you thought of this video and any video suggestions you have for me and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video Bye.